Hello. If you are considering removing kidney stone through the procedure known as laser lithotripsy, I want you to pay close attention to this video because I'll be telling you what you're going to be expecting immediately after laser lithotripsy surgery or laser lithotripsy procedure. So, number one thing you're going to be experiencing that you're going to be experiencing lower, you're going to be experiencing pain. Okay, let me not call it lower back pain. You're going to be experiencing flank pain. Okay, you have pain at your side. Or the, because of, this is because of the stent that was up, given um, and placed inside your um, kidney to aid your healing. So you may be having this pain. Okay, the pain may also be due to the processes and things that was done in your system while they are trying to remove um, this stuff. Because some um, instruments that have actually been passed into your kidneys in order to aid this. So you have experienced those um, um, little pain but the truth is that your doctor will actually give you some medications that can actually help you with this pain management okay so one of the things that your doctor can actually give you that he will give you some of the drugs that is actually similar to the drugs you were taking when you had kidney stone before the surgery so you will also be receiving similar drugs drugs like um tamsulosin and the pain relief drugs so you may also be receiving those drugs post operative because of this pain you're having and because of the presence of the um, stents. Okay, now we'll go to number two. You're going to be having fever. Why are you going to be having fever? This stent that has been placed into your body, that has been placed on you, is actually a foreign body. Okay, one of the things um, your body, one of the ways your body fights foreign organisms, that is things that are not naturally there, is through what it will repel by you having what fever. So when you have when you do kidney stone surgery and suddenly you start having fever, one of the things that is causing that fever, because there are so many other things that could actually cause the fever, infection and the other rest of them, is that your body is actually trying to um, notify you that there is an invader in your body that it needs to fight, okay, or that it is actually fighting already. By the time this is happening, that is when you start having what fever. So your doctor will not leave you stranded. The, the person who operated on you, wouldn't leave, your doctor, wouldn't leave you stranded. He will give you a, um, a drug that will help you to do what? To calm, um, to bring down the fever. Because he or she knows what actually is happening. That is why before you go for a, um, a laser literature surgery or whatever surgery you are going for, you make sure you have knowledge about the procedure and things you are, you are supposed to know so things that you're supposed to do, how to prepare your mind before, during, and after the procedure. But in this particular video, we are concentrating on um, laser nitrotripsy, what you need to, um, things that commonly happen after the work, after the procedure. So I want to talk about number three points. So number three points we're talking about is that if you undergo a laser nitrotripsy surgery, you also notice that most, sometimes you will pass blood in your urine. Yes, stop looking at me like that. You will definitely pass blood in your urine. Okay, it's not like when I say definitely, I didn't mean that it's going to happen. It happens to everybody. Some people wouldn't pass it, but majority of persons that I know that I've come across while doing this will always pass um, blood in their urine. So the last one of my last question was like, ah, I passed blood, do I pass? Like, because of um, the procedure that was done, okay, maybe one or two things would have happened in the system and there will be little seepage of blood and during the cleanup, because after working there, they have to also clean it up. Then you also notice things like blood clots, blood, you know those things, um, dropping from um, your, when you want to pee. These things are necessary, these, these things most of the time happen. So when you see it, what you need to do is do what? You take a lot of water. You rehydrate yourself properly. Okay? So, but there is a there is caution. There's a level this will get to. Like, if you notice that this thing is consistent and it is not stopping, you have, that is when you now have to do what? To call your doctor. But if it is just scanty, little, just know that there is nothing to worry about that. I don't know if I've actually communicated. So, having said that, we now go about talking about the Point number four. Point number four is that you also notice something. There's something called um, bladder spasm. And that bladder spasm will actually happen after um, um, laser nitrotripsy. And when it happens, it causes you to have the urge to urinate. So you know, when you've done this surgery, you may be still be having.
frequency urination. By the time you look at those things, they, are, look, they look like those kinds of symptoms you used to have before the procedure. So, but now these things are not happening because there's kidney stone. It is happening because of the procedure you've done. Because they pass something through your bladder, and because stone is actually, some of the stones, residual stones. Because after kidney stone surgery, there's um, some stones will be removed, and there will be residual stones in your system. So some of those residual stones will also be looking for this way out. And by the time it's coming out or is in your um, bladder already, you will be having um, bladder spasm that can, in all those things, that will also um, lead you to, most of the time, having frequency in urination. So the truth is that these things are common and they will actually happen when you have this procedure. But the truth remains that most of the time when it becomes severe, it becomes unbearable, it becomes, I don't know how to uh, explain it, it becomes um, serious, you have to call back your doctor um, and book an appointment or rush down to the hospital immediately. I tell people, you don't go to a hospital where you don't have access to your doctor and do a procedure. You go to a place where you always have access to call your doctor when something happens and people who will always answer you when you call them and they are always there for you. So what am I saying in essence? I'm saying that you note all this point. So when they become, when the pain is becoming much, no longer unbearable, like the drugs you're taking is not coming down, the fever is there, in fact you're having burning sensation around your flank, you know, the frequency urination is so, so much. This thing, by the time you start seeing this thing, it is actually um, very important. And the blood that is coming out, you know, is too much. Not like um, a stain of blood, all those things. When the blood is oozing and it's coming out, you know, this is the time to call your doctor. Then another important thing I want you to know that after this procedure, you'll be passing, you may be passing out, um, what they call it, you re, you be, you be passing out some of those stones that was crushed. So some of you are like, ah, I passed that stone. I'm like, yes, you've done this, and this thing now. Some of them came out while some still remain. So just be watchful. You will be passing that someone will snap and send to me. Okay, uh -huh. like that. Yeah, that's the procedure we just finished doing. So that is what it is. So if you have kidney stone, um, this video is not meant to um, put fears in you about necessary intrusion. So the truth is that after some time, these um, symptoms will die off, especially when the stent is being removed. After the removal of the stent, and you'll we'll be free, and you can actually go home and enjoy your life. I know a lot of people who did this Nissan Nutritionist. In fact, I've never seen anyone die after doing Nissan Nutritionist. <laughs> so it's not a scary procedure. It's a procedure you can go to do. Before this time, you're already going home. And you're fine, OK? So the truth, that, the good thing about this nutrition is that you're not going to be caught open, okay? So um, the procedure doesn't involve any physical cuts on your skin, okay? And you're not going to be put into general anesthesia, so you'll be seeing everything happen on the screen. So in one of this video, I will take you on a ride to our theater for you to see what it looks like. Nothing, there's nothing scary about it. So just prepare your mind and go for your surgery. And if you've done your surgery, who knows, in a few years time after the stage removal, you will have your life back and you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm one of which your kidney health coach. Remember to always share our health educational videos and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done so. Like I used to tell you, I have a WhatsApp community where we come together to talk about our kidney health, okay? That is where I give up-to-date information, daily information about what you need to do in order to put um, an end to any kidney issue you're having. Thank you so much for watching.